So 2017 is 150 years since Canadian Confederation, I'm putting this opera on in 2017. Uh, what, from your perspective, is significant about that and what kinds of opportunities does that present you with as a storyteller and an artist? Right. Um, okay, so that's a, that's a very loaded and very large question. <laughs> um, I think the, the complexity of all of that, of course, is that if we say that we are celebrating Canada as 150, then it negates and disregards the history prior in this, in this land right. um, prior to that. And kind of, again, does that repetitive thing where we wipe out the consciousness of those who came before and whose shoulders that we stand on and the recognition of whose land we, we borrow, continue to borrow. Um, so that's a very difficult thing for most of us who are Métis mm -hmm. or Indigenous to navigate. Um, so I, I hesitate to word use, cel use the word celebration. Um, however, that having been said, um, what I see with this particular project is an opportunity to move forward. So really the best case scenario for me would have been that to celebrate this right. um, in a way that was inclusive of Indigenous people, it would have been fantastic to have an opera that was uh, penned by an Indigenous um, composer. That would have been ideal. Yeah. Um, and I'm hopeful that maybe someday that will happen um, mm -hmm. here. But therein lies the opportunity for me. Um, it's 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 as we as we grow and learn from each other. This is an opportunity to do just that. Um, I think what we've offered the COC is a is a as an opening of a window to our worldview and a better understanding of who are out who who in our communities are out there interested in opera, interested in learning, <clears throat> um, interested in further opportunities with the Canadian Opera Company, and to me, that's the building block that we are right. that we are. Um, you know, we're, we're building a new foundation.